This video is a walkthrough for my Papers and Dragons jam game. The game type is ARG, alternate reality game, and because of that uh, it might not work correctly later on. So this video is, is to show how the problems should have been solved if somebody needs help to solve them and later on if they cannot be solved because solutions for puzzles might become broken. The theme for the jam was uh, falling apart and first what game does is it falls apart and alternate falls out of the game. I wanted to make a gritty detective game with a murder to solve, but then I took inspiration from there is no game game. I got inspired for making game which is in several pieces. For my detective idea, which I had before, I would have used another account for having culprit. Now the first puzzle comes here. Previously, soldiers said that they can help. And now you have to think outside the box. So you have to move soldiers outside the window to get something out of there. Soldiers find a YouTube link, which is first clue. I wanted to use soldiers more, but they were only used for first puzzle. Some players might have problems opening the link because of their default program. This is the start of a second puzzle. This video has a clue that in a folder is something hidden. Hidden text that you must open. Also, video description gives you hints on what you have to do, because after finding the hidden text, you have to do something else. In this case, the box means your computer, and you have to look beyond your computer, so you have to look for a website. First, let's see the hidden text. You have to go for your game folder and there find the hidden text. Now you have to change the folder settings to allow you to see hidden files. Now my operating system is in Finnish, but the settings should be found from here. Here is a picture of it in English. Sometimes the settings doesn't apply on the first try, so I have to do it on second attempt and I hope nobody else need to do it because it confuses player, though it's not my fault. The hidden text can be found accidentally if you have the setting already on, but I think most don't have. Now that we can see it, we can open it. Visit Grandmaster for his first knowledge of 48. Dot Nil, 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 yes. He must know something if the alternate could have fell. Search him. Now, Grandmaster is a short for GM and a vast knowledge of 48.3 zeros is intentional, not a frightening mistake because I mean 48. And now, Grandmaster is a GM and 48. So you have to visit. GM48. Also another clue said outside the box. And you must uh, search for Artenite on the website. And when you find the Artenite on the website, you can tell the creator how Artenite is doing. So clues for solution for second puzzle are from hidden text and video description. So video description is not necessary, but just helpful.
now in the GM48 website, just tap in Alternate in the search field. You should only find one result from Alternate, Sword of Alternate. By clicking the profile, you can see the profile text which tells about the Alternate. Profile reads, you found me, but I'm already undead. This undead is the password for the game. So just type in and press enter. Here I also made a mistake because I had a debug key for restarting, letter R. Other debug keys were under key combination, but the R I forgot to put under those key combinations and now you can accidentally restart the game. By the way, holding shift and tab you can access debug keys and then you can uh, press uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, to get to the different puzzles or F5 or F6 to get to different rooms and also press enter and backspace or shift and control to do things for the screen. The story is that uh, this timeline is ruined because Alternate has been corrupted, he's fallen and you must restart the game to reset the timeline. Creator thinks that Alternate has given a clues for other champions before he corrupted. That is clue for you that Alternate has left something and what he could have left for other champions. Without the sword, the game will just loop, so you have to break the loop and take a sword from Fallen Alternate to new timeline. So you can prevent whole situation. Currently, Alternate uh, is corrupted and uh, he won't give the sword freely, but he left clues for other champions how to get it, while he had uh, some sanity left. But uh, moment in uh, Abyss is an eternity, so while it was for you, just a couple of minutes, for Alternate it has been thousands of years. But he anticipated it, so he made clues for others how to get the sword from him. Now for your player, you must think who the other champions can be. As the game is set on GM48 and the page is used, the other champions are the other games which have won the GM48. And you must look at those games. Now, as sidewise, what alternate could have left, what others can see, is a feedback. The game itself doesn't have any other mentions of the champions, so player must think what other champions might mean, and realize that only place where they can be is GM48 page. The answer is scattered around to previous winners of GM48, there are six of them, but you only need to read four of them to get the point. There are six of them because I had the idea previously for detecting game, and I had already made the account and uh, comments beforehand, so I can just use them. And I made those comments before the jam because I wanted uh, those creators of those games think already at what is this, and be a little bit suspicious that there could be an arc game coming. The alternate uh, name was chosen because of uh, it sounds a little bit uh, alternate, alternative. Alternate comments say, open my profile picture separately to see. Actually you need only those open my profile picture, but those latter two separately to see are just fillers to use all six great game comments which had been previously made now you just open the profile picture of alternate which tells you what to do shake me when dead this is clue how to get the sword so you have to shake Alternate when he's dead. And in the Sword of Alternate game, he's dead. So now you have to go to Sword of Alternate. 
The only thing what you can do in this game is to shake the window. So just shake it, shake it. Rattling the skelly alternate causes him to drop the sword. The game says to check your clipboard, where you now have a text. This is a clue what to do, but also a token which the actual game uses to recognize that you have a sword now. If you happen to copy Sword of Alternate in square brackets, it works too. Now that we have a sword in our clipboard, we can go back to Papers and Dragons to restart it. The game starts normally, intro screen comes up, and the soldiers and alternate are facing the dragon. But now, you can do something. You can paste the sword before alternate cuts world in half. And now, instead of alternate, you use the sword. And this is how game ends. Dragon getting sliced in half, falling apart. Thank you for watching and hopefully you had a chance to play the game.